Okay, guys, for this video, I would like to share how to control relay uh, by using the HT11 temperature and humidity sensor. And basically, this is the use for uh, this project is the use for temperature control unit. And here is 5 volt DC relay module. And this is one channel. And this is the HT11 sensor, the HT11 sensor module. And there are DHT11 and DHT22. You can use both, but you have to adjust a little bit inside your code. I, I'm gonna explain in, inside the code. So, okay. and here is 16 times two uh, LCD display. So this is without I2C controller. So the idea is a lot of the wire, jumper wire you're gonna use. Uh, and here I'm using 10K variable resistor. Uh, this variable resistor is to control the brightness of the LCD here. And here I have a simple drawing here. Uh, I'm not going to uh, dismantle this wire anymore. So I have a simple drawing here. This is LCD display here. And this is the digital pin of Arduino, uh, which is from this side. And here this side of the Arduino pin is we just do only for 5 volt and crown. So which is... a uh, connect to the breadboard here so from Arduino side 5 volt in the crowd I just make it here two points this is for power source and this is all the digital pin this side so I'm going to explain from here from LCD display VSS is the ground uh, VSS is ground pin so VSS connect to the ground here and VDD is uh, positive, which is 5 volt. So VCC connect to 5 volt here. Sorry, not VCC. This VDD. VDD is the same with the VCC. So VDD is connect to the 5 volt here. And VO, VO is connect to uh, in the middle pins of this variable resistor. VO connect to in the middle pin of variable resistor here. And RS, RS is connect to digital pin number 12. And RW connect to the ground. And E, another pin connect to digital pin number 11. And from this VR, the right side of the pin is connect to the positive uh, 5 volt here. And the left side is connect to the ground here. And this D0, D1, D2, D3 is in use. You make it empty, leave it. Don't connect anything. And D4 from this LCD, D4 is connect to digital pin number 5. D5 connect to digital pin number 4. D6 connect to digital pin number 3. D7 connect to digital pin number, uh, number 2. And here, A is connect to 1 kilo ohm resistor. Uh, 1 kilo ohm resistor here. You need to use... Oh, sorry. It's not 1 kilo ohm. You can use 1 kilo ohm. It's going to be very thin. 220 ohm. Use 220 ohm resistor. So, A connect to 220 ohm resistor. And connect to 5 volt here so here is the ground pin and here is the 5 volt I'm using here the one side is ground pin uh, the other side is 5 volt positive and K connect to the ground here so all this the wiring is complete between this LCD and Arduino now this relay module so relay module you're gonna have three pins here three pins so the first pin is a vcc vcc connect to the positive positive here go through to this fiber here and ground connect to just ground here connect go through to this ground here and in in is going to connect to this the pin number a of arduino and the relay connection is complete and here DHT11 will have three pin as well. So VCC connect to 
uh, 5 volt here and the ground will connect to the ground here go through to here and in the middle is data pin data pin connect to digital pin number 7 of Arduino so the complete the wiring here and this side is control side so uh, we're going to use 12 volt DC fan uh, I don't have DC fan so I just use uh, for a small 12 volt DC motor and the power source I'm used a 9 volt battery so I'm going to use 9 volt battery for demonstration purpose so positive wire DC positive wire uh, coming to common of relay and from normally opened positive wire go to going to connect to one side of the DC fan here and the negative wire from the power source direct connect to the fan in one side so this is how you're going to make a connection of uh, this project and so we're going to upload the code here I'm going to remove these things See all the things here. Okay, if your connection everything is incorrect, so your LCD will have power, your relay will have power, and this sensor will have power. And this is to control the brightness of LCD here. So now we're going to get to the code. So here is the code. I will provide the link inside the uh, description. I have double slash here. If you're using I2C LCD display, and you're going to use this one, uh, you just you just remove this double slash and this will active but here I am using a 16 times 2 LCD display without I2C and this is, uh, let me explain a little bit, this is to include the liquid crystal the H, this is uh, the header file and here the integer uh, this is what all the pin we use in Arduino and LCD display and this is the liquid crystal LCD I will give the name here and this is to include the DHT file DHT, uh, DHT library and we're using DHT sensor to digital pin number 7 and here the integer relay we're using pin number 8 and this is to uh, we declare integer humidity and integer a temperature so you don't have to edit anything and here we have to understand if the temperature is if the temperature is uh, bigger than 32 then the fail will be turned on or well, which means when the uh, your place is hot more than 32 temperature then your fan will be turned on uh, otherwise the temperature is below 32 and the fan will be off all the time will be off so you can adjust the temperature right here uh, you don't you have to adjust only the temperature if you like depends on your requirement but here you have to include the library The 
liquid crystal so you install this one I already have already installed this file if you haven't installed you must install this liquid crystal I2C otherwise this library file will not work for you so yeah and then what you're going to install is we are having here DHT 11 so DHT 5 so here is DHT sensor library file you must install I already installed here so make sure you install this file and then only this library will work after you install then you close and now you can upload the code to your Arduino board so select com you upload the code Okay, now done upload. Okay, now done upload. You can close your computer here. And here you're gonna see. Here you will see your LCD. So right now the temperature is twenty a degrees celsius uh, which is the normal room temperature so i already set inside the code the temperatures when the temperature is uh, more than 32 degrees celsius then relay will be turned on so you can see here If your LCD is keep moving, just check your wiring here and you can reset. Okay, now the temperature is 28 degrees Celsius, 28, 29, which is the normal room temperature and the relay is off. So if we keep the power direct power to the relay here and the temperature is here so let's try so this is the LCD the brightness edges so how if the temperature is hot if the temperature is high and you will see the temperature reading here when the temperature is more than 32 then the relay will turn on when the relay is turned on the fan will run so i cannot put this fan right here i must hold otherwise we fly again so how to increase this temperature sensor i just use lighter here let me just try don't burn it just put it on the side So the temperature is increased now already 30 but not yet 32 only if the temperature is 32 then the fan will run in so now already 31 it's not yet 32 if temperature is reached to 33 the motor will start running oh temperature has already run so the moment the temperature is reached to 33 then the fan running the motor is very fast so when the motor run the temperature will cool down Okay, now the temperature is already cooled down to 31 degrees Celsius, so the fan is already stopped. If the temperature is increased, a 
observe on this uh, LCD screen. So the moment the temperature is more than 32, then the fan will run. So here, when the fan is running, then this sensor getting cool. So when the sensor is getting cool, then the fan will stop. So now the sensor is already cool until zero, um, 3 degrees Celsius. So now this is already getting cool because of the fan speed the motor is very fast and this sensor is already cool so this is how they are gonna control uh, the temperature by using this temperature and humidity sensor I hope you like this video I hope you understand this video uh, thank you for watching